Hi Tom's right. Um I had to kind of run round the back of the table to get back round here again. Okay, competition time, but not for you. It was one I was in a couple of weeks ago. It was another competition in the Irish Wood Turners Guild. And it's the Ulster chapter have every second Saturday they meet and there's a competition. So the comp the, the competition was for a decorated piece. Now that immediately causes problems for me because I'm colourblind. So I certainly wasn't going to use colours. I have never carved before. I never used pyrography before. And I basically have never decorated before apart from putting a couple of lines on a, a, wee, a wee little sort of vase or a little pen holder and burning, burning them with a bit of, uh, what do you call that stuff, formica. So this was a big challenge for me and we're coming to the end and then I saw a video by a gentleman called Martin Saban Smith. Martin, I hope I haven't butchered your name there. And he's over in England and he does wood turning, carving and pyrography. So he did a bowl he called the Rune Bowl and it was absolutely beautiful and I thought if I could do something like that I'd be really pleased. So I said to Martin I was going to try to copy it and I set about doing that. So it took two days to get to this stage. I'm going to show you the rim there. It took two days to get to that, right? Just It's just a little simple carve. It's not like Martin's. Martin had more, did more complicated runes on it, but I kept it simple. So it wasn't exactly the same, but you could, the rims are the same and stuff. Basically the same bowl. But then we had a little problem when I turned it round because I had to hollow the inside and look what happened. I went through the bottom and there's why. Because I carved into the bottom and when I measured the depth of the, t of the recess here, I measured to the top of the grooves instead of the bottom. A silly, silly mistake and it was critical in the end. So I had to start again. Now there's just two days working that there. Okay. Because I didn't know what I was doing and I had to keep running in, watching Martin's video, making notes, running back out again. And then we got, I had, I had basically I had four or five hours left to make another one. So this is the end, the end result piece here that I finished up with. Let's see if I can get that into the light, sorry to get the light catching on it. Now, this is virtually the same as Martin. It's about 11 inches in diameter, 10 inches in diameter, 10 and a half inches in diameter. And it's sapele, which is a form of mahogany. And it's been carved around the rim here. And there's two borders put on as well. And then I burnt it with a propane torch. So that's why I've got these sort of dark lines on it. Now the burning is very, very handy for one thing in particular. Just in this area here, let me see if I can find, yeah, in this area here, there, there's a lot of tear out. Burning cures tear out, okay? So I burnt that, it let slightly more than the rest, and it took care of the burnout. Now, it came second in the competition. I got beaten by Ricky, who did a beautiful piece, and was chased closely by Alan Simpson, who also did a beautiful piece. And what I'll do is, I'll put a link below. I'm going to link to Martin's site to show you his work. He's got two sites. He's got the wood turning and pyrography site. He's also got Martin's Bazaar, which is his craft shop. It's well worth a look at. There's some beautiful stuff in that. There's not some, there's lots of beautiful stuff in it. So we'll take a look at his craft shop as well. It's really worth looking at. How did it feel? I feel because I left too much weight in the middle of the bowl. I was scared to go as thin as I did in this one here. So I had to leave a wide rim, as you can see, to get the carving done. But I did. I should have taken out more meat from the centre. So that's one thing. And the other thing I did was, my wife. I didn't want to do exactly the same as Martin's. And you'll see his video, and you'll see the similarity. But he had like a, a sun in the middle here. So I want to do something different. And I do two little black lines as a sort of a signature, and I burn them onto a lot of pieces. And Rosemary said to me, "Do your two wee black lines." And what did I do? I made the lines the same thickness as the rim, the ones in the rim and then burn them and they're too heavy. So they kind of catch your eye and take your eye away from the, the edge of the rim, which is the rim, the rim is the most important part actually, because that's, that's what we want people to see. That's what the carving is, the runes. Now those aren't proper runes, they're just like a rough idea. And then there's the back of the bowl then. And 
you can see the same thing. This bowl is finished with Danish oil. I've never used that before, but Martin used it, so I'm going to use it. Danish oil and then gold cream, gilt cream, that I rubbed in afterwards, and that brings up a lovely, it just highlights it beautifully. But there's something pretty special in this bowl, and I have to get up to let you see it, and I have to get it the right way up. Yeah, that there, that is Ogham runes, which are the runes, Celtic runes that we use in Ireland, and I think they were used in Wales and Scotland, and the north of Spain as well, and maybe in France. But they were made, they were used, these ones were used in Ireland, and that's my daughter's name in Irish runes, because she signs her artwork with that. So I did that as just a little gift. This is for a gift for her. So I'm not going to put this video up until after she has actually got the bowl because I don't want, to, want her to know her names in the bottom. So that is Una in Irish runes or Ogham runes. So that's why um, it's going to be a couple of days before I put this up. Okay? It doesn't really matter because you're going to see it when it goes up anyway, you know. But I'm going to explain to her why it wasn't up. So there you are, folks. That's a little bowl. And it's all down to Martin Saban Smith because... I wouldn't have known what to do except for his brilliant video and tutorial. It was really, really good. He has inspired me to try more carving and more pyrography and using the gilt cream. I, I really like it a lot because it, it does lift things really, really well. So it's a whole new venture for me now and I'll start working on my own designs. But as I say, it was for my first time. I'd never done it before, so I needed help and I got it from Martin. So Martin, thank you. Um, that's it, basically. I'll put the link to the Irish Wood Turners site, the, the Ulster chapter, and I'll put the links to Martin down below. If I can get them on the screen, or I'll put Martin's on the screen, and I'll put the wood turning one on the screen, I'll, either the wood turning site, I'll put Martin's on the screen instead. Okay, so there you are, folks, the, the, the rune bowl, and I'm very pleased with it because it was something I've never done. Just trying to get, get it to catch the light for you here to let you see the way the gold works on it. Um, I've never done anything like this before. I'm, I'm well pleased with you know. So I was very pleased to get second. That was like the icing on the cake. Okay, all the best now. Bye bye.